what is up fam I'm with james right now and we're somewhere that he came to he's actually going to be doing a really cool video explaining why maybe you shouldn't come to a place like this and i'm in full agreement a couple years back how, how long ago was it two years and five days wow it's like he knows the actual anniversary hmm. And I remember like yesterday because he was living at my house. And after he came to this location, I saw a drastic character change in my best friend, James. And it wasn't positive. It was not positive at all. Mm -mm. The crazy thing is, is a lot of you have been begging me to come here for years. And this is one of those places that, that spiritually I knew would be a bad place to come. And I have chosen to never come and explore. I told this to James when so he came place, here. The only place in the world that he has refused to go to. The only place. And the only place I've told you not to go to. Right. All right, listen. Now, here's the thing. We go to some pretty dangerous places. The name of this place, and you could do some research on it. We are going to share some of the stories in this vlog. We are at Bobby Mackey's Music World. Now, this wasn't always a, a concert hall or what, what is it? Would you say it like a bar? To, well, it used to be called the Primrose, which was um, for gangsters. Or gangsters something, right? Yeah, it was a gangsters club. They had like casino in there and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But if you look up the Primrose, it was pretty famous. But what's really known, um, one of the biggest stories, two, 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 there's a bunch of stories about it. The two biggest stories is one, there was a gentleman by the name of. What was his name? Carl Lawson, I think. A gentleman by the name of Carl Lawson. And he had a dream that basically told him that there was a well in the basement. So he actually went down into the basement, started digging it up, and sure enough, there was a well there. Well, they ended up having to do an exorcism on him inside here, which you can actually look up. Look up. Uh, look up exorcism. Look up Carl Lawson exorcism. Bro, why don't you put that on your video? Like, show some of that exorcism. Yeah, I, I probably will. Um... But what I think is even spookier and crazier is down in the basement where that well is, which is also known as the portal to hell, there was somebody that broke in here one day. He brought a Ouija board with him, went to the well. He had a box of razor blades, starting cutting up his hands and spreading the blood, trying to conjure up some types of spirits. And the crazy thing is, later down the line, the story was so crazy that they actually had investigators like... Um, forensic uh, investigators. forensic investigators come in and spray like what's it called luminol or something like that in there. Something that makes the blood glow. It lit up like a yeah. Christmas tree. Like this, the story is true. Um, but I can attest this place is literally no joke. What would you say that? Because I, it wasn't. It was like. Would you say it was like an instant change or like a gradual change? Like, like, what were what were some of the things that you felt? Well, I don't even like know. spiritually. I don't know, dude. It just the different things, bad things started happening. The day, the day we left here, right afterwards, because remember, right before we had signed a contract on a house, we put a deposit on it and everything. Right. We signed a lease, and right after we left here, they called us and told us that they had to cancel it. And refund our money. So it was, it was a lot of bad. Then luck. the next day, Chelsea's editing, and all of a sudden, her screen starts going like all different colors mm -hmm. and the laptop just took a crap and then after that went to go to my boy lou rock's house and um that's when all hell broke loose and it was just it was insane and uh the way that i found out that it really was something attached to me is a crazy story which i'll get into in my video just because it's very long but it is um still to today it, it, it changed me it changed me for life it actually opened me up spiritually too though so like it changed me for really bad but also now like i learned so much from it and have learned what not to conjure i think this is this bobby mackey's is a reason that i am now decided not to use spare boxes anymore right yeah and i i was talking about this on a live stream on my live channel if you didn't know i do have a live channel called the omar well it's not the omar it's omar gosh live and anywhere where we do have good internet signal, I am going live. This video is going to be uncut, by the way. But yeah, make sure to subscribe to James because he's going to be doing a, a more in-depth video and, and just kind of 
recalling his time here, showing clips here. But without wasting any more time, we're gonna we're gonna start making our way to Bobby Mackey's. We're gonna walk around and maybe talk a little bit more. I don't think we should separate too much. Or are you trying to separate? Just don't wander off. I won't wander off. All right. So this is Bobby Mackey's. It's, it is getting ready to get really dark out here very soon. It is closed. And like James said, this originally was like a gangster hideout. There was also talks of this being a slaughterhouse or maybe there was a slaughterhouse on the property itself but yeah this is a a place with some pretty bad juju and according to some of the reports you know back to that exorcism that james was talking about i don't think it went well the exorcism did not go well and there there's something terrible here now from the outside i mean this place looks it looks abandoned it looks like it needs some work it's still a functioning business by the way they have a bar here i believe and the owners are very very nice people by the way big shout out to them james did ask me he was like hey man you want me to reach out to the owners you know maybe you could go inside if you watch this video and i hate to, to i hate to, to spoil it i am not going inside bobby mackey's i'm mainly just here for james to support him because he's going to kind of tell the story in his video and i did want to share a little bit of the history here but you know really cool place ah oh, man i mean you could instantly just feel this off feeling just walking around the property not gonna lie huh, meet, meet back up with james see what he's uh he's trying to do here too bad there's no like windows you know we can probably see i mean everything's boarded up but that's the basement right there and yeah it's crazy that well that he was talking about it was in a vision or a dream of that kid or i mean the guy that his name was uh, carl lawson and in this vision and this is while he was like possessed or whatever he said we have to dig right here there's a well and they dug up and what you know there's a well there and they they call this well the the portal to hell where'd james go all right this guy always be doing this I have no idea where he went now bobby mackey is a artist uh, he, he does perform on the weekends till this day here and he follows me on twitter big shout out to bobby maggie super nice guy he has nothing to do with uh with the evil that's here by the way this is just his place that he performs at and and it's an awesome place but it does have a lot of haunted history and eventually i do want to without going inside I do want to make a cool video, maybe like a story video, sharing maybe the exorcism. I know that there's been several investigators that have experienced a lot here at Bobby Mackey's. Let me see what James is at. Oh, he's over there out front. But this is what it's like. It's a very busy road. At first glance, it kind of looks like an abandoned building, like I said, but it's not. I'm trying to not even make physical contact with this place right here. What's the matter? Ready to go inside, bro? 
Wait, we are gonna go inside? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, no. Well, this is the only window, you know, if you want to see what it looks like in there. There's nobody in here right now. Ready? <laughs> what do you think I'm You crazy? click better. You click better. <laughs> So James calling this video like, you know, guess where I'm going back to or whatever. A lot of his fans have been warning him to not come here again. And I agree. I would never come back here again. I mean, I'm telling you, James was different. I lived with him. He was angry. He had a lot going on. I saw, I saw that it was, it was almost like there was a dark cloud following him after coming here. And he told me, he was like, Omar, I made the biggest mistake ever in one of the most haunted places with evil in it I never said a prayer and I was completely unprotected I do feel bad for him because I mean at the end of the day the reason why he was here was to you know bring y'all some really good content but content isn't everything not everything. I don't know. As long as he learned from it, though. Bro, it is loud. No, stop it. What? It must be hot, hard on a, on a video where you just... Uh, oh, yeah, this is... Uh, by the way, no cuts in this video at all. You're going to hear it raw, right? He's... <laughs> I've done that. The struggles of trying to film a really, really good video, a very well edited video. He's like waiting for like a space between the cars to talk and stuff. But anyways, I'm here for him. I'm here for James. If you ever come here to Bobby Mackey's, make sure to say a prayer. And like he was talking about the whole spare box thing. That's that's a future video. I'm gonna talk more about that. Had a have have had some personal convictions. Then when uh, I started exploring and you know kind of documenting historical haunted locations, I never I never messed around with spare boxes or anything like that. I would just go and visit them, and you know if it's if it's a haunted place, I mean you you catch things here and there. You know sometimes you I mean. That's how we started our videos, you know, but I think just, you know, a lot of people were like, you know, hey, you should try Spirit Box and try this out and try these different things. I've never been into ghost hunting equipment. I mean, even in the past when I have used ghost hunting equipment, it, it's been very mild stuff. But when you go to a place like this, Bobby Mackey's or, you know, anywhere that there's potential evil, whenever you use a, a Spirit Box, there is dangers involved where you could be inviting something evil into your life. Ed and Lorraine Warren read one of their books and they were talking about a lot of the hauntings that they participated, not that they participated in hauntings, but um, a lot of the hauntings that they were trying to, to cleanse and investigate, if you will, they were caused from Ouija boards. Not all of them, but it was a good amount, like 89, 90%. I mean, that's a pretty, it's a pretty definite hardcore amount of, I mean, that, that's the probability is, is huge. I mean, when, when you're, that's why I am totally against Ouija boards. Do not use it. it. They've been used here. I don't know if the owners are like against it now, but yes, do not, uh, do not mess with Ouija boards, especially somewhere like this, but yeah. Like I said, more on that subject a little bit later. Yeah, James and I are actually not using spirit boxes at all anymore in our videos. And I will talk more about that in the future. Is our content going to change? For the better, in my opinion. I mean, some of my most viewed videos never have a spirit box in them. I mean, we go to some really cool places. 
So, I mean, you don't have to communicate with possibly demons to have really good content. I mean, if I, my life isn't worth it. My soul isn't worth it. But like I said, I will, I will talk a little bit more like on that subject in a future video. But it's Bobby Mackey's. Just wanted to share it with you. I, uh, I don't get a whole lot of time to edit when I'm on these road trips. So that's why this video is more uncut. I've been wanting to shoot some more vlogs here and there, but whenever we're at some of these really cool locations, they take up a lot of our time. And by the time we make it to our hotel, we're sleeping a couple hours and then we're on to our next adventure. And usually I'm able to edit in the car, like if Tiffany's driving, but James, I think he's like, wait, he really can't see well. I mean, look, he's having, he's having trouble going down those stairs. But just to give you an idea. Uh, so I have to drive, in other words. So be on the lookout for my homie James's video. He's going to be releasing it maybe, maybe in the next week or so. It's going to take him some time because he has a lot of clips to compile. But make sure you have post notifications on and check out my Omar Gosh live channel. It is awesome. And I'd be dropping, well, especially on these trips. If I have good internet signal, sometimes I go live from some really cool haunted locations. So check it out. And not just haunted locations. We just go live sometimes just to go live and have fun. But we're going to be doing some podcasts in the future talking about some of our adventures. But yeah, um, I might do some more like uncut videos like this. It, it doesn't mean all my videos are going to be like this. I'm really into editing and making my videos super polished, but it takes a lot of time, great deal of time when I do videos like that. So, but on this trip, this is why we had, uh, we have a, a nice uncut video. So if I did mess up a little bit, forgive me, I'm human, but I love you. Thank you so much for your support. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss.